Okay, everyone, we are headed back um, to go home. I inadvertently put it in park. Thankfully, we were able to still use the beta. Um, yeah, the it's it's getting pretty bad uh, in terms of um, uh, public sentiment. This could potentially derail the whole system. I, I still don't think it should go through that Waffle House parking lot to get out of this. That's just me. Um, my personal opinion, not that anyone cares, but maybe you guys do, um, I think, so you have us original group of beta testers, right? Uh, I was one of them, and, um, then, okay, good, all the way over. Okay, let's mute this. Case for bronzes. Okay. So, my opinion is that the original group of beta testers were to get get every update first by uh, just a day. We're talking about just a day. Heck, even 12 hours. Um, but a day, full 24 hours. And like, okay. Um, no, uh, I am hands on the wheel and I'm looking forward. Okay, uh, so we would get the beta for 24 hours. It gives a it give a w even wider group of people across the country in different areas, different places, to just you know make sure there's no major issues. You know, make sure there's nothing that's going to cause any major issues. And that's this issue and this update would have been found out. Multiple of the original beta testers um, had found this issue out because obviously we're going out first thing in the morning to do our test. And so, yeah, and I would have figured it out eventually by midday too. So but within 12 hours, it would have been well known by Tesla, like, hey, don't further release this update. And we would have, I mean, we don't actually have this. We um, could have gotten contact somehow with Tesla, and like, hey, don't release it. Let's figure it out. Um, you can downgrade us back to 10.2. Be all good. That means limited amount of people would have. Um, has shown issues and everything else. This is just gonna happen with beta updates. It's beta for a reason. That being said, something got missed big time on Tesla's side, and I, as much as I hate it, it's gonna really affect this program. This is gonna drastically affect the program going forward. And it's gonna be headline news on Monday, big time. It's gonna be the, the issues uh, on, on this. Personally, I don't think it deserves to be headline news. I don't know. Um, maybe it should just be like, it should be in the news for sure. Like Tesla should be called out on messing up this update. And that's what I'm doing. Like they clearly didn't work conservative enough. Elon likes to push the boundaries. But the problem is when you have government regulations that want to shut you down, they have biased individuals and those organizations that want to shut this program down they don't think it should be uh, available they think it's too dangerous um, clearly I have been using it for 11 months and haven't had a single issue not even a curb wheel it's not too dangerous if you know if you pay attention but the problem is we're gonna have a lot of bad press and that's FUD will come out and they will attack Tesla constantly so we want to sell in the stock market here you go um, but yeah, that's what's going to happen with this update. Obviously, this is going to come out later in the week. This particular video will come out later in the week. So, the damage has already been done by the time this video is out. Uh, but hopefully Tesla learns from this mistake and um, doesn't happen again. I'm hoping and maybe they just like bring back their original beta testers um, and they tell us what's up. And uh, they let us test it again and maybe they refine the safety score. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. They will figure it out. But I'm a little bit uh, disappointed that uh, this was allowed to happen. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, and we'll just kind of take it as it goes. Fortunately, uh, I'm being a little bit selfish here. I have a full week's worth of videos to edit. I'm going to put them out, and you're going to see this at the end of the week. I don't, I don't care if it's an update or not. Tesla can't tell me to not post a video that wasn't in the NDA terms. I'm no longer under that. The NDA turns for anything critical, basically don't uh, talk to media or whatever's 
that was like don't basically just like don't be stupid like don't don't do stupid stuff like don't get in the driver's the passenger seat which like that that's basically what it is um you know don't like don't live stream it because that could distract you like that makes sense if you have live stream and you have a scrolling bunch of text up here then you're gonna get distracted um so you shouldn't do that and you should always have maximum uh, awareness going on here obviously i'm talking to you but it's no different than having a passenger in the car i'm not like trying to read a screen like looking at text fly by on the screen That was very good. Any previous update would have braked for that car. Wow, what is going on with this van? I'm burning some oil. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, that red SUV that went out in front of us, that was very good. That was a good improvement. I was able to, that any previous update would have break for that at least a little bit it didn't break at all which is great that was very good okay i'm pushing it through trying to get through this light before it turns yellow obviously we have a lot less traffic than we did last time it's kind of odd because it's still in peak leaf season like some of the eyes, as you can see, some of the leaves aren't even turned yet. This is, they're all green right here. If you go up on the parkway just a little bit, they'll be peak. So it's kind of odd that the traffic's so much, well, oh, it's Sunday, duh, not Saturday. Everyone's going home on Sunday, that's that's why. Um, so that's that definitely would be why. Actually, then again, the last update it was Monday. So that's odd. One thing I can say was definitely fixed on this version, well, or much improved, it still happens occasionally, is the phantom braking. Much improved with this version. Okay, admittedly I was kind of looking at this area of the screen, kind of days I my peripheral vision, I can see the road, but I was kind of like my main vision was looking here, but I could still see the oncoming cars. That's, that's what's annoying about that. I'm like I had clear grip on the wheel and I was actually tugging on it too while I was doing that. So um, it, it needs to know about that. Forgot to renavigate it. This is why it's so critical waypoints happen because it started to break when when that navigation was done. It wanted to like stop there in the middle of the road. This car's behind me and that could be bad. There's so many issues that are caused because there are lack of waypoints. And I hope they're quickly working on that. If that's not out by the end of the year, I would, like, especially since it's, like, it probably wasn't even being worked on, except starting at the plat event. You know, I was like, oh, fine. We'll do, we'll do waypoints, like, begrudgingly. Um, I, I just, I think because he takes a private jet places and he just, he has his, everything in a calendar that he never, he never detours anywhere. So I, I don't think he realizes the value of waypoints uh, like a normal person. If you go on a road trip, and it's like, oh, let's detour over here and we go navigate. So you can, you can calculate your exact range you needed to go take a detour somewhere. It, that's so critical when it comes to planning your trip out, especially for beta testing. If you want to purposely avoid highways and do all the back roads and everything, it's, it's so critical to be able to have waypoints to make it safer. They're all about safety, and I don't think they understand. They, uh, they assume a, a rational person is going to stop on the side of the road and go navigate. Like, as you can see how often I have to re-navigate, that's not a realistic expectation. Like, for me to go stop on the side of the road and disengage every single time, not only are they going to get a bunch of false disengagements, like, uh, so it's not, not going to help them any. I'm going to, like... It's, it's just gonna cause far, far too many issues to do that and stop and go and stop and go and stop and go. 
and then it's not going to navigate in the right place. And enough of that rant because it, it's just basically it's just we need waypoints. Come on, Tesla. Like, come on, Elon. I. We, we, everyone outside of Tesla is like, we need waypoints. So, like, just listen to what the people want. I just don't I know why you just didn't think it was a problem. Okay, let's see what it does here. It needs to go ahead and get in the right lane. It's doing that good this time. A little bit earlier than it did the last time. I think that's acceptable this time. Thankfully, this Corvette is low, so we are supposed to make a full stop there, and I'm crushing it through. So it does go down the 45 mile an hour right here. It should see right here is where it changed, but it based on map data. Again, it's critical in my eyes that it slows down before it gets to the speed limit. So this is a good lane change, and it seems that's one of the more hesitant lane changes I've seen. But it was wide open. So I a car right directly behind me, and no cars in the left lane. Kind of an odd lane change. So let's see. This is a good test if this version is better or worse on this. See how those cars are going to cross the yellow line right there? They're getting in the same turn I need to get in. Okay, so I kind of forced it in there. It made it. It made it. But what it's gonna do, I almost guarantee it's gonna try and go out. Unless this version has corrected that. Maybe it's corrected it. We'll see. I'm accelerating because I want to get rid of this light if possible. So it, it didn't do it. That's an improvement over the previous update. Okay, so I want that was okay that it crossed the yellow right there, but it should have um stayed. It should have got back in the lane. That's what I normally. Almost every person will cross the yellow right there because it doesn't make sense to go way out and back around. So I would do that too, and that's personally what I would prefer that it doesn't just go out, out and around. That's just such an unnatural motion. I tried to do that once, and then the car behind me started go, uh, gaining on me and was going to try to overtake me. I, I, that's happened to me before. So that's something that can't, uh, can't let happen. Uh, humans will do that. And so you have to just, obviously you're breaking the rules by going over the yellow right there, but that's just how humans drive. You, you, the, that was a, it's a poorly designed intersection. It should have been curved out a little bit more. Uh, that's just the way it was. Um, this is incorrect again. Try and go in. I want to go in the this entrance. It's not okay. Yeah, I think that's right. It needs to get in this turn lane right here. Okay, so last time I had went down that dirt road where it was navigated right here. Okay, if it had gone for it, it would have been fine, but no, it's just like, we're going to creep and let the car get closer. In 500 feet, your destination okay. will be on the right. So that drive, a few things better, a few things worse. Um, yeah, uh, it seems like Unprotected Lust right there had gotten worse. That that seems like that hasn't done that in a while. Um, I wanted to take a walk today, but um, I ended up needing to meet my parents back later today. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't get to enjoy the park today. Obviously, it's super busy. I guess so. That, that last disengagement wasn't necessary. Yeah, I, I'm just going to turn around here on the electric chargers. But um, if you have questions for me, feel free to get uh, hold in for neutral. We got, got some person parked. 
in the electric car chargers and that isn't an EV um, so screw them but um, this is where we're gonna end this video everyone uh, if you have any questions feel free to let me know down below uh, I'm gonna not make a video on the next section but then I'm gonna make our test route too uh, and that's gonna be kind of a weird glitch because I'm going to go to uh, Sam's Club so it's gonna be a slight detour but it's gonna be mostly the same content if you have any questions again down below and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye